I want to start on how you decided to get into clean tech so early that you were majoring in you know renewable en energy engineering in, at uni. Like I didn't like I said I didn't even really know that was something someone could get. So I was wondering if maybe you were inspired when you were younger or how you got put on that path. Yeah, so I have a somewhat unique childhood experience in that my father was, is a marine biologist. And so over the course of my lifetime, I grew up with a very intimate relationship with the ocean. And so over my youth, I saw the kind of rapid collapse of the reef ecosystems. And it had a very uh, impactful uh just journey in, in my youth. And so seeing the rapid degradation of those those environments made me very aware of climate change from a very young age. And so I happened to get an internship at the particle physics lab at UCSC in high school. And so through that, I began to kind of understand energy and, and solar energy in particular. And so as I looked to then find my way into a, my career into college, I decided that that was really a, a path that I wanted to pursue. And so my first job actually then helping pay my way through college was as a solar installer. And I learned the industry from the ground up, really the nuts and bolts, or rather from the roof up, and was right. the guy actually putting panels on roofs and wiring them up. And so that helped me build fluency in the space. And then as I got my mechanical engineering degree and ultimately worked in AI for renewable energy power forecasting and, and in that large scale project management role, really saw the industry from all the different angles. And it was then that I realized that as an engineer, it was going to take you know three to four years per project that I wanted to be involved with. And that wasn't necessarily the impact I wanted to have over my career, maybe 15, 20 projects. And so I decided to go back and, and get those two graduate degrees, a master's in energy engineering and a master's in sustainable energy technologies, uh, one degree from the Polytechnic University in Barcelona and the second from the Royal Institute of Technology in Stockholm. And so kind of collectively, those two degrees are renewable energy engineering. And so it is a, you know, a very necessary skill set for a rapidly changing world. And so as I look to then specialize in those technologies and really intimately know everything from wind, solar, hydropower, hydrogen, battery storage, the whole gambit, began to recognize that it would be a very difficult to be a master in all of them. But B, if I wanted to still maintain that flexibility across industries, that there may be a way in which, you know, finance might actually be a way to still retain that technical fluency, but engage with many different kind of verticals within clean tech. And so that helped, I would say, inspire my journey into what is now climatized. 